Hey guys, Igor here doing one more review today, analyzing Gravitech, a tool that sent important news lately, updates, special offers, and more with a needs to use notification center. It's a push notification tool for your website. It's one, one of the best ones. I just full stacked that deal. And I think you need to, you know, give a chance to that deal because it's one of the better push notification tool on the market. What this is going to do is that you have a website and then they will uh, send those notifications that you just received here. And then you can send news to your subscribers, any kind of news, your new YouTube video, your new course, online course that you are selling. So you have like a push notification service for you to send news to your subscribers. So I'm logging in and I'm going to show you how the deal works. You can see here the dashboard and I just, I added my website here. I have only six subscribers by now, so few, but it's easy to get new subscribers and I'm gonna show you how it happens. If you want to add a new website, just click here and then you can uh, add using the standard manner, a WordPress or Wix. I use it, the standards, it's pretty easy. You just install a code and it's done and a code and um, a file. And, but if you use the WordPress, you just can add the plugin. I'm gonna show you everything on the website that I have. You can see that they have the analytics so you can see how many notifications your subscribers received. And here you can see the number that were sent, the ones that were delivered, seen and opened, and also the closed ones. So you can see exactly how your subscribers behave when they see the push notification. Here you can create a campaign. So let's say you want to send a news about your new video to your subscribers. So just like add your YouTube video link, for instance, and then any text. So my new YouTube video video about GravTech is awesome, okay? You can see how here on the right, how it will look like on Mac OS, on Windows, and then on Chrome, Opera, Firefox, Yandex, okay? You can see exactly which kind of notification they will receive, your subscribers. And after, you can, of course, change your links. I'm using my website links, uh, sorry, your image. I'm using my my brand image. And here you can send, choose if you're going to send immediately your push notification or if you're going to schedule it, okay? And then you can also customize here, adding image and buttons. You can add buttons to your notification. So I'm gonna add new information there. You can see here more button one, button two. And also you can customize your targeting. Okay, so you can segment your audience. And here's how you're going to create a new campaign, send a new push notifications to your subscriber is pretty simple. But how your subscribers are going to subscribe is here, front and bell. You can see I have mine here and I'm using the toast that's the recommended one. So my subscribers will receive on my website that push notification, okay? And they will subscribers, yes or no. They have, uh, you will s configure that for mobile and desktop. So they will receive on mobile as well, as you can see here. I customized to show after a delay of 10 seconds, it was what Gravitex told me that the better 
like time frame, the delay second of 10, sep 10 seconds. And as you can see here, you can choose toast, you can choose the subscription bell. So the, your website will have a bell. And then when after 10 seconds, it will appear the message. The model one that will appear like not uh, like showing all the notification on your website and the native one. So the native one is not working anymore. So you choose modal, toast, or subscription bell. And then you're going to choose the delay, your color button, your color text, and the message, and also the allow button and the discard button. That's how they are going to subscribe. And you can also remember then, discard chance, you can remember then when they will uh, if they, they choose to do not subscribe, can remember then after one week if they will, uh, if they want to subscribe or not, if they change, change their mind. And here you can see on automations, a lot of automations, okay? I'm using almost ever automations. So you can send your subscriber a welcome message. So when they subscribe, they receive a welcome message. That's my welcome message. Welcome to New Law. That's my brand. You can send push notifications from your Twitter. So if you Twitter, they will send your Twitter as a push notification. You can send your RSS. So every time you post a new blog post, they will send automatically a push notification to your subscribers. You don't need to do it uh, manually. And here, a drip campaign. So you can, for instance, um, configure several different messages for your subscriber that just subscribed. So let's say you uh, you have a new subscribers, and then you're going to set up five different messages for your new subscribers so they can get to know your best products and service. You can do it automatically using that drip campaign features. It's another automation. And a push digest so your subscribers will receive um, the best news of the week, weekly on, you know, every Friday, for instance, or daily, for instance. So you can activate it here and they will receive a digest, a summary of your best blog post of the week. So it's another kind of automations that you can just add here. Here, you are going to see your RSS with your new blog posts. So here's the RSS features, feature. You get a report of your subscribers' behaviors. You can see your campaign history. So as you can see here, they're showing to me the number of push notifications that my subscriber subscribers received and their behavior, if they click it or not on the notification. So as you can see here, they are going to send the push notification with your blog post thumbnail on the left. Here you can see your number of subscribers. I still have only six because I just installed it. You can see here by country, I have someone from the Netherlands, as you can see here. And even the city, so the number of people on Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo, I have one on Amsterdam and another one on in San José do Rio Preto. Here you can see also the segments and settings. Okay, you can customize your UTM setup, your time zone, your default notification icon, and even the default notification icon for Android. 
you can, as I show you, use standard WordPress or Wix type of configuration, and you will have their API. You can monetize your website. So you can run ads using GravTech, and you're going to earn some cents per click or some cents. Or you can also promote. You can promote by yourself and pay for to promote your website, or you can monetize, and then you're going to receive money if people click on, if your subscribers click on the promotion. OK? So you can even monetize your subscribers using RevTech. Here you can see the AppSumo codes. I stack at five. I think it's an awesome deal. So I totally recommend you to get Gravitech because it will add just so many features on your website and you're going to have a special kind of communication to with your subscribers to complement the email newsletter subscribers. So the way like every time you post a new blog post, your subscribers will receive a message and you can even when you create a new course, you can just create a new notification to address your website, your subscribers, and tell them about new things about your brand. So it's like mandatory to have push notification system on your website if you blog. So every blog, every news website have a push notification, and GravTech is one of the best push notification systems on the market, not someone, some like company that are just starting push not notification service. It established one. So I truly recommend you to get that too, if you have a news website or a blog. Okay, thank you so much.